I don't feel no ways cut too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be either. Oh, I don't believe he's brought me this far to leave me. I'm supposed to have a speech on that prompter. Y'all got it? If you don't, I need my phone. Where's my speech, babies? <laughs> Somebody has my phone. Somebody has the speech. Let's get it together. Eight o'clock is coming. I got some shit to say. Somebody has my phone back there, please. <laughs> I wrote the whole thing down. Now I got to go find it. You know, I'm a producer, so I know what time it is. Okay, here it goes. Tony's speech. <laughs> now let's see if I can, now let's see if I can read her. Could you hold this for a second? <laughs> All right, so thank you to the committee for choosing me, for seeing me. I am grateful, I am humbled. I grew up in a world where they told me that who I was was not worthy of anything. So the fact that I'm standing before you is a miracle. Toni Morrison said, this is precisely the time when artists go to work. There's no time for despair, no place for self-pity, no need for silence, no room for fear. We speak, we write, we do language. This is how civilizations heal. I was born in 1969, first generation, post 60s civil rights movement. I came out as gay in 1985 when I was 16 years old, and as we all know, and many of, in, many of us in this room experienced, we went straight to the front lines to fight for our lives. I'd like to personally thank the Entertainment Community Fund, formerly the Actors Fund of America, and founder Tom Viola with the Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS for teaching myself and an, and an entire generation of theater artists how to activate we got up in these streets and we spoke truth to power and demanded our healing medications. We got up in these streets and demanded our equal rights, not just for queer people, but for all human beings everywhere, period. And as we find ourselves at yet another crossroads in America, a moment that will decide whether democracy lives or dies, I need to remind you all of what the late John Lewis told me. Never give up hope. Never give in to hate. And go out there and get into some good trouble. Love always wins. It takes time. It takes grace. It takes hope. It takes patience. It takes loving kindness and compassion. And we win. When we fight, we always win. I'd like to dedicate this moment to my mother, Clarinda Jean Johnson Porter Ford, who we lost this past February. She believed in unconditional love and she instilled in my sister and I a purpose and a love greater than ourselves. One of her favorite Bible verses was 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Turn to your neighbor and tell him, fear not, for the change has already happened. God bless y'all. Thank you.